The latest step toward getting humans back to the moon is now just a day away. NASA is getting ready to roll out its most powerful rocket yet to the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center ahead of schedule. News 6's James Barbero explains how inch by inch the agency will attempt the four-mile trek. NASA's crawler on the move Monday at Kennedy Space Center, positioning the transporter underneath the space launch system inside the vehicle assembly building. The 10 platforms surrounding the 32-story rocket now retracted. NASA saying when SLS returns to pad 39B, this time teams will be counting down to launch. Most powerful rocket ever built. Soon that baby is rolling back out to the pad. Starting as soon as 9 o'clock Tuesday night. That's ahead of NASA's previous rollout schedule, but Artemis 1 is still scheduled to launch the morning of Monday the 29th. The two-hour launch window to open at 8.33. The entire mobile launch tower, as well as the rocket and the spacecraft, will head out to the launch pad together. And when all systems are go, we'll give the go for launch, and Artemis 1 will begin. Beginning NASA's path for returning astronauts to the moon with a lunar landing planned for the third Artemis mission. Artemis 1 is a test flight, which will not have a crew. NASA says SLS will propel the Orion spacecraft around the moon, flying further than any spacecraft ever built for astronauts, and returning home after 42 days. With testings and final checkouts complete inside the VAB, join us Tuesday night for live coverage as the moon rocket closes in on rolling to the launch pad. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.